<laughs> Ooh. Hi. Raise your hand if you know who Ronald Coleman is. If you raise your hand, you get a gold star for today. And you're also probably going to enjoy this video a lot more than if you didn't raise your hand. Because today I am reviewing a biography of Ronald Coleman written by his daughter, Juliette Benita Coleman, titled Ronald Coleman, A Very Private Person. For those of you who are uninformed, I will give you a little background. Ronald Coleman was an old movie actor. He was an Englishman, but he made most of his movies in Hollywood. He starred in films from the 1920s all the way up through the 1950s until the time of his death. Ronald Coleman is one of those old actors who is largely forgotten today, and if you think about it, it's really odd because he was a big deal. A major heartthrob, one of the few actors who was able to successfully turn from the silent era to talking pictures, but he didn't just do it successfully, he did it to his advantage because through the 1920s, people knew him as this very handsome, attractive man and, you know, he was like your matinee idol. But then sound came out and it just totally revolutionized his career. He had this awesome voice. It just was such a perfect combination. The looks, which, you know, yeah, I find him extremely attractive. And then the voice, which is just like melty and warm and cozy. And as he became a bigger star and MGM realized he was like their hottest ticket, they gave him really good roles and he was always playing someone who was noble and gentlemanly. That combination of looks and voice and projected personality, uh, it just made him so appealing. And th I know that that's the reason why I fall in love with him in every movie. <whistles> yeah. <laughs> uh, weird. Let's talk about the book. <laughs> when Coleman died, his only daughter was about 12 or 13 years old and she didn't really know a whole lot about him except what she knew from their home life. And it was only as she got older that she realized just what a big career he had and what an impact he had on other people. So she did all this diligent research, interviewed people who knew him, crew members, cast members, friends, and she actually used their words in the book. He didn't do a lot of interviews, he was a very private person, as the subtitle says, so there aren't a lot of direct quotations from him, but there are a lot of anecdotes and behind the scenes information from other people and it's straight from their mouths. And that makes it really interesting. She wasn't just preserving the memory of her father, but she was also preserving the voice of these other actors and famous people from show business who have also passed away and she's preserved their words and their opinions and sometimes they kind of go off track and she kept it in. And so it's not just a look at Ronald Coleman, it's kind of a look at the entire business of movie making in the 30s and 40s. You know, sometimes you read about actors and you find that they're not all that you hoped they would be. I had been afraid that after I read the book I might not like him, but that didn't happen. I still love Ronald Coleman. Everybody who's quoted has good things to say about him. He was very kind. Um, I especially like the stories from his leading ladies who were all terrified to work with him. They'd just go in there and be like, ah, I can't, I can't communicate, I can't act at all. And then he would see how uncomfortable they were and he would go and talk with them and get them to relax and get them to f realize that he was a real person. He wasn't just like this untouchable idol of the screen who was like, oh, I can't do anything with him. But he never, of course, crossed the boundary of propriety because he was a gentleman. He was so confident and professional on the set and he always knew his lines and everything. He was a very smart man. He had a book collection, so that's obviously a plus with me. He was very talented. He dabbled in all different kinds of art. He was very capable. When the times changed, he was able to change with them, such as when the silent era became the sound era. And then when radio was big, he did radio and was successful in that. And then when TV became the new thing, he was successful on TV. I haven't heard his show that he did with his wife, The Halls of Ivy, but I have heard all of his appearances with his wife on The Jack Benny Show. 
which are so funny and made me realize like Ronald Coleman was a really funny guy like he could really do comedy. So I really enjoyed this book. I really appreciated the insight it gave into his background and how he got into acting and what kind of person he was. I thought it was very well written and engaging. It does have pictures in the middle and it's not a ton of pictures. It's a combination of film stills and photographs of him and his wife and the baby and pictures with friends. Um, I would prefer that there be some more pictures, but I do have a pretty good collection of pictures of him on my computer, so it's not like I'm really suffering for a lack of Ronald Coleman pictures in my life. But yes, this is a good biography, and if you are a fan of Ronald Coleman, I would recommend it to you. If you've not seen any Ronald Coleman movies, oh, there's a lot that I would recommend. I could do like a Ronald Coleman list. Thanks for watching! Hi!